thought I was dead. You only thought you were dead. I know, I literally just said that. Machine! Man, living in the Matrix would be like really bad. Yes, I also think that it would be bad. But like probably for different reasons than you think. Being mentally enslaved by evil robots inside a big ass Oculus Rift forever is definitely a bottom five experience. <laughs> yeah, in some ways. But in other ways it'd be totally fine. You don't know that you're mentally enslaved. You probably live a pretty normal life actually. Even the steak is good sometimes. But you're still mentally enslaved. And at some point you may accidentally discover that the Matrix isn't real and escape. But then you realize the real world is like way worse. It's just a bunch of living underground, fighting endless wars, and sweaty on hygienic orgies. So you agree then that living in the simulation would be better? Yes. Wait. No, until agents possess your body and force you to fight kung fu terrorists until you're bullet time and addicted to death. Warmer? No, I think it's pretty red high. Okay, so yeah, that would be pretty bad. At least in that scenario, you die relatively quickly and you don't realize that anything's wrong. It's like uh, playing with scissors and then uh, your brother takes a dump that lights up the entire house and it blows the scissors into your eyeball and then you bleed to death. That is really specific. All I'm saying is that the scariest part of this entire thing is not escaping into the shitty real world, nor is it dying in the virtual. I think we have different definitions of scary. Just think about it, all right? If an agent takes over a person's body, they're doing it exclusively to kill someone. So now dying is bad. Sure, but killing is worse. Generally speaking, I think I'd rather not die, but go on. Okay, we're never shown this in the movies, but like what would have happened if a red pill escapes and the agent that's chasing them doesn't die? Like, what would have happened to the helicopter pilot if Trini hadn't blown his brains out and the agent inside of him had just, like, gone on his own way into a new body? Wait, wait, wait. Red pills? Why are we talking about far-right gamer dudes? The Matrix is clearly a trans allegory. No, uh, like red pills, like uh, the freed humans that are aware of the true identity of the Matrix. Uh, Neo, Morpheus, Trinity. And that f***ing cat who clearly knows what's up. Exactly, but, like, we never see agents leave a body unharmed and then, like, transform back into the body of like that dude Jeremy from high school who keeps trying to sell Cutco knives to your parents. Those, those things are sharp. So presumably the agent buggers off into somebody else's body that's definitely the rocks and uh, they just, you know, leave behind the person with all the bodies of their murder victims. But how do you know these people come back as they were? Maybe their brain shuts down when an agent jacks into somebody else. Or maybe they're reborn as a squirrel with no memories and a thirst for nuts. In the Animatrix episode, a detective story, we actually see an agent start to jack the main character's body, but then pull out halfway through. Statistically, pulling out is only about 80% effective. Why do it? Well, because Trinity shot the guy halfway through the jacking and the agent didn't want to finish inside of a dying man. That's some powerful restraint. So the agent aborts, but the guy doesn't keel over or go crazy or anything. If he dies, it'll be from Trinity's gunshot wound, not some sort of agent-inflicted brain cancer. Hey. My grandfather died of an agent inflicted brain cancer. Anyways, I don't even see how this is even possible to have happened because I don't see any proof of it, or that even if it did, that it would be a big deal. In the Matrix Web of Comics, Volume 2. No, nerd, God, doesn't count. It's canon. In the comic, Wrong Number, a red pill searches for hardline exit and enlist the help of an innocent lineman. Lineman, like a person who maintains phones? Yep, and as the lineman assists her, he suddenly transforms into an agent and shoots her in the eyeball and then transforms back into a regular creepy dude. Yeah, a regular creepy dude who's probably like first chair clarinet in his choir at church. Yeah, well, the point is, if this has happened once, it's probably happened a thousand times. Red pills and anybody who gets in their way are constantly getting killed by agents, which by extension means that they're getting killed by a bunch of innocent regular people who just have no idea what's happening to them. Yeah, but the lineman didn't actually kill her, so he shouldn't feel guilty. Well, no, this isn't about guilt, or at least not exclusively. The regular cop who's pulling this guy in isn't gonna believe, your honor, Elrond in a suit came by and then he told me to shoot them and they're not gonna let him off. Innocent people like the linemen and other people who have been hijacked by agents are going to be thrown into a actual virtual jail while still being inside of a physical, mental virtual jail. It's double prison! Oh, shit. You're right. 
And since agents are basically federal cops whose whole goal is to maintain status quo, they're basically planting evidence and covering up their own crimes. Exactly. The worst part about living in the Matrix is that the simulated world that everybody lives in is actually an insane police state in which people are constantly falsely accused of murder, thrown into jail to cover up the systemic abuses of the robotic government. Wow. Damn. But wait, now that people can choose to be released after revolutions when they do that dumb peace thing, it's not a problem anymore, right? Well, no, but anybody who does leave will go freaking insane because they explicitly state in the first Matrix that anybody who leaves the Matrix too late in life will lose their mind. They can't handle learning that they've been living in super hot their entire life. So what you're saying is that at the time of Matrix 4, there will be recently freed, wrongly convicted murderers who probably went insane because nobody believed them and are now definitely insane because they learned about the Matrix too late in life and are now running around in the free world and the Matrix. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be pretty cool. What? Like. Subscribe. Exactly. But like, anyway, we never see agents leave a body unharmed and then transform back into the body of like uh, that guy that you went to high school with who was like constantly like racing his like truck up and down the street and then he got too drunk one night and he flipped it back over and then he survived but somehow came back to like haunt you by asking you to join Jehovah's Witnesses. <laughs> no, he can't use that. Well, it's just so long. Yeah, it's just a very long. One. <laughs>